How's it going everybody? This is D22 with you from D22 Games. Hope you're doing fantastic. This is the first video on the gaming channel for 2018 and today we're going to show you a really cool software. This is Razer Cortex and this software is got it all. It has the ability to allow you to customize game profiles if you have a Steam client or you can download games and it will get a custom profile and it will set it up to optimize game performance on any PC that you have. Unfortunately this might not work for Windows 95 computers. I'm sorry people if you have Windows 95 and are on dial-up this is probably not for you. So here are the library of games that I have. I got Paladin, Starcraft, Modern Warfare, Fallout Shelter, Mobius, and then here are some games that I own but I really haven't installed yet. So this is just an example of what it can do. It imports games from Steam and any other client and it's amazing and you have the ability to earn currency called Razer Silver or Razer Gold which is really really nice. And it also has a feature where you can go and use what's called a game caster. And we're going to go into the game caster right now and it this allows you to show what controls you can use for the game caster. So it shows you the game caster overlay while in game and then you can include streams and captures, you can allow game switching and then it'll show a BRB screen. And to enable game caster you press control plus. And then it also gives you the option to service through Twitch. So it allows you to stream through Twitch and the custom command that you can use is control shift D. And I use Twitch on a semi-regular basis. I haven't used Twitch in a while but that's okay. I have plenty of time to do Twitch and that's okay. And I have my Twitch account set up, D22 Games, and these are the commands that you can use to start streaming through Twitch through the Razer app, Control Shift D. And then you can also do screenshot captures, so the command here is Shift A, and then to start and stop recording is Shift S. And then there are devices that you can use during gameplay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to enable microphone sound. This is the microphone that I'm using right now. And then it shows a FPS overlay while in game. I'm just going to uncheck that because I don't really need to know the frames because I have a good idea of what it does. So this allows you to customize and capture everything in game. And the footage that you're going to see later is stuff that I have captured from the Razer app into this video. Now we're going to go into what's called the media tab and then this is where everything stores. If you use the Gamecaster and you record media, it'll get saved into a custom folder. And then if you go to shortcuts, this will allow you to set up your shortcuts here. So the show hide overlay is control plus and then clickable non clickable overlay is control tab and then take a screenshot which we've already covered and then you can also set push to talk coverings and also any other commands here and then the stream is already what we have gone through and then it sets up as as follows and then they also have what's called a game booster where you can boost your games performance and you can optimize, boost, and defrag, which is pretty darn amazing. And then we're going to look at my rig here. So this is my rig. I have a NVIDIA GeForce GT 750M, 16 gigabytes of memory, and my CPU is an Intel Core 1.8 gigahertz, which is okay in some computers. And I have 1920 by 1080, 1080p resolution, and I am using Microsoft Windows 10 Home, 64-bit architecture, and this is the latest GPU driver version. And then if you go into the Rewards tab here, this shows you you what you can do to earn Razer Silver and this Razer Silver can be used to buy new products, buy new games and just get sales. So when you click on to the Razer you have to sign in daily to get your daily balance of 40 silver but it goes up as you go along. If you miss a day it goes right back to 5 and that's my current balance of Z Silver so far and you can also earn it playing certain games. As you can see on the top left corner there is a coin with a number and if there is a featured game you earn up to 3 Z Silver or 1 Z Silver per time that you play. So let's say you play 30 minutes. That's 1 Z Silver for every minute of gameplay. So that's 30 Silver for a half hour. And if you play more then you get more. So that's the thing. And then the rewards in here are pretty set forward and you can subscribe to earn deals and then you can sync your stream account which I've already done and what you're gonna see now is you're gonna see game footage captured with the game casters so here we go 
Okay, so here I am here recording some gameplay from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, and this is within the Razer Gamecaster recording function. And so far, I have experienced no problems with lag, and yes, I haven't played Call of Duty Modern Warfare in a while, and I just got killed the first time. Anyways, I have noticed that there is a bit of lag when it comes to using the game capture software because my specs aren't really good but I can record games at least onto this uh, app and it's really cool and I can also stream on Twitch using this service and it's pretty amazing how an app can just allow you to have all the interfaces built into it and allow you to capture the gameplay as it goes along here and we have just been so uh, impressed with how this works and I hope that you are impressed too and if you are looking for a free capture software that allows you to capture stuff then Razer Cortex is the way to go and it is highly recommended if you are on a budget and if you're looking to do your own captures and the interface and also the setting up is just simple you just need a good microphone a really good computer that can capture video at this rate and just a good attitude if you want to start your own gameplay videos so I just thought I would end the video here just to let you know how everything works if you have any questions please feel free to leave me comments below and also leave me your gamer tag so that I can play you on Steam sometime so yeah I would love to know more about my gaming audience and what games they like to play and if you have a favorite game leave it in the comments below right now so thank you very much for watching and game on in 2018 thank you